Done. Yaha! Hello guys, welcome to Hydrocity Zone! For my monthly daily series. Now we're gonna take a completely different route by climbing this up. Yeah, we're not gonna take the low road, that'll be a bit boring. We're gonna take a completely different route this time. And of course, if you guys know, I love Hydrocity Zone. It's one of my favorite water levels in Sonic Free. Not just because of the music, but because of the architecture of everything all about it. I love it. I just hope that they bring the zone back to Sonic Mania whenever it does come out. Okay, now I'm gonna turn around, and I'm gonna... No, that's... No, I already been that one. Now, of course, I'm gonna turn around, and I'm gonna go down this way. Oh, come off it! But anyways... Now, of course, because this is Sonic Free and Knuckles and not Sonic Free... Um, you know in the Sonic playthrough of this, you are able to jump down here, like I did in uh, the first game, but... They changed that, so you're pretty much forced to go down here and jump into the special ring, like that. But, uh, yeah, this is our third Chaos Emerald, by the way, and, uh, we're running out of things to talk about. Let's see. Oh, I did not activate this checkpoint, so I think what I did is, like, I triggered a future checkpoint that made that checkpoint already active, but whatever. Anyways, also, as usual, we're going to take a completely different path. In other words, we're going to go up here. Yeah, you got an extra life. Nice. Made that. Now, also, as you may notice, that Knuckles' ability is to glide and also... and also climb walls. And you're most likely going to use advantage of it a lot. Now, Knuckles is, like, very energetic of everything. He is rough, he is a strong powerhouse, and he also does a ton of destruction, you could say much. Even though he's a very small guy, and he does a lot of rough things. But, I don't blame him too much. He's an echidna. And, uh... How this went off, apparently, like, Eggman told Sonic, no, not told Sonic, but told Knuckles that, that Sonic was after the Master Emerald, and it was a complete lie, so, in other words, now his, his mind is now turned around, and everything, now he's going after him. See, I don't need a spin dash, I can just walk, and that just breaks stuff, as you can see. That's another thing Knuckles can do. If you, if you don't want to spin dash, you don't have to, you can walk. The music restarted. But, the main focus of Sonic is speed, so you're most likely just going to have to, like, just spin dash a lot. But, regardless of such, I sort of like this guy. He can be rough at times, but... So who can blame him, actually? Dumb down. Uh, I already did that.
Now, another piece of information I'd like to say for, uh, this monthly daily series is that, um, as the point of this, as the point of, of this, like, month, we got more information of Sonic Mania. Most importantly, we got more footage of Flying Battery. And we also, and I've seen a lot of familiar things with also a few extra twists there and there. Now, I learned that most of Flying Battery in, um... You know, I might want to just save that when we get to Flying Battery in this monthly daily series, but, um... Sonic Mania is gonna be big. Okay, we're gonna go down this way, and, uh, get this next emerald. Oh, uh, yeah. And, uh... I'm just running out of things to talk about, actually. Alright, now, also, there's one thing I'd like to say that, um, I did not mention in Angel Island Zone when I was doing it. But, um, on each day when I'm playing this game, I'm actually posting in the description a straw poll of something I said on Memorial Day. Well, on the Memorial video. Cause I am doing- Cause after I finish this, like... After I finish all the games in the straw poll, I'm gonna be going back to playing some Five Nights at Sonic fan games. From either Ian- Ian Mario or Sonic 495. And I'm giving these guys a huge shout out right now. But, um... I think every day I'm gonna try to remind you that there's a straw poll in the description because there is gonna be a because there is gonna be something that I'm gonna be doing whenever I'm done with it. And I also I'm gonna hopefully get Paper Mario finished up either this month or next month. Most likely gonna be have most likely gonna be finished up next month. Darn it. Now, um, also, I'm gonna skip the special stage at the end of, like, this area right here. I'm not gonna go get that. I'm gonna get the, uh, one in Marble Garden. I'm gonna ignore this one, and I'm gonna go for two more in Marble Garden. That's what we're gonna do. Now, of course, as you can see here, it may look like you're trapped here. Because Knuckles is supposed to trigger a switch that will blow this up. But, we have Knuckles' own path right here. So, no need to worry that much. Because Knuckles' path is right here. And it may sound like I'm repeating a lot. Because, like, this is pretty much, like, all we're doing. We're just replaying Sonic 3, and we are replaying Sonic and Knuckles, but in a much different difficulty. But with a completely different storyline, at least. But at least I'm also analyzing the different paths, different bosses, and different stuff. Forgot to mention, uh, the boss for, um, flying, well not flying, but Hydrocity Zone Act 1 is exactly the same. There is no difference there. I will have her show this bonus stage, since this is the last of the bonus stages that we're gonna see. If you case you didn't see my Sonic and Knuckles video, the first one, or possibly the second one, I don't remember, this is one of the next bonus stages, and it involves you to climb to the top of the level. And at the very top, oh god, I almost got myself hurt a bit. At the very top, you'll get either 100 rings, or an extra life. But of course, the challenge is getting yourself up there. See? There's an extra life. Oh, I did not get that. Whatever. I don't care. But anyways... 
Also, because I was equipped with the electric shield, it doesn't work here, so we're just gonna have to play this as normal. Now, we'll fight the Egg Robo. Now, the difference here... He's not gonna crouch down to go give you... to, uh, suck up the water. Instead, he's gonna stand all the way up, and you have to, like, try to be really quick on it. So you cannot get a few free hits on him, unfortunately. So instead, you're most likely gonna be relying on this. Now, also, as you can see here, I also glided. And as you can see, I got- oh god. Ow! Something you do not recommend is, like, do a gliding thing or else it will last forever. But it also becomes a really good technique. I got another hit right there. You cannot make this jump. Which I feel like is disappointing to us. So you pretty much have to require a lot of patience for this boss, cause... Well... Being that it's much challenging from its original predecessor... Shouldn't be much of an issue. Especially if you do this, where I got three hits on him, really well made. And somewhat. Other than that, that is it for Hydrocity Zone. I'll see you guys tomorrow when we do Marble Garden Zone again. Ah!